I'm going to say uh, Peter Gabriel. Um, I think even though, strictly speaking, well, here we go, the endless debate as to what prog rock is, um, usually well, anybody wants to get out, get out of jail free card with that response is anybody that's pushing the boundaries of music and that doesn't necessarily mean that you're doing a nine minute song with Moog solos every other bar, you know, I mean Peter Gable's his just whole approach to doing music and his live show and everything about him, you know, even though he was a key member in Genesis and they were the sort of one of the original prog rock bands so to speak, you know, he's, uh, I went, again, I went to see him live and I, I can't think of many artists who sort of do a song upside down, dangling from the ceiling, or kind of, he's just unbelievable, visually, conceptually, and, you know, just, just somebody that's just so in touch with, you know, and, and unashamed of, of what he is as a person, as, a, as an artist, you know, he's fantastic. I think the ideology should be the same. I think a lot of people think that copying a template, I think we were discussing it earlier, is progressive rock, or progressive rock is a certain sound. Well, that's absolutely nonsense. You know, if you could ap apply the same, I mean, like, like we were saying, like Genesis, yes, Pink Floyd, they all sounded completely different. Whereas some people think being a prog rock band means you sound like, you know, Genesis or Marilli, or, you know. I think if you could p apply the uh, just the the ideology of what was behind those original bands, which was pushing the boundaries of the music that was around at the time, and apply it today, which is a little more difficult because there are so many subgenres of music these days, and it's very hard to find something that hasn't been done. But if you can still be experimental in what you're doing, then that should be the, the essence of progressive. <laughs>